What up? Finishing up some PT this morning. And uh, of course, as I'm doing PT, I'm constantly thinking. Got a, got a lot of things going through my head. Let me cross this road safely real quick. A lot of things going through my head, right? But this morning, I wanna talk about ego especially ego within the army. So I'm not talking about ego. When I say ego, I'm not talking about the part of your ego that gives you self-confidence and, and self-esteem and makes you feel good about your, your capabilities of doing stuff. I'm talking about that part of the ego that's toxic. The part of the ego that makes you mistrust your unit so much that every single person in the unit is miserable. It's a terrible thing, especially if you've witnessed it before. Uh, excuse me, it's a little cold out here, so my nose might be dripping. But how do you how do you measure what that what that toxic type of unit is or that toxic leader is? Here's how you measure it, in my experience at least. If Every single soldier within your organization cannot wait. Let me pass. Thanks, God. If every single soldier within your organization cannot wait to get out, all they want to do is go somewhere else. That means you have a toxic organization. Soldiers don't run away from hard work. They love hard work. I know I love hard work. It gives me a sense of purpose. It gives me something that's fulfilling. But when you have a unit or a leader within a unit that's so toxic that everybody wants to leave, you've got a problem. Some people might be saying, well, what about commitment? Commitment to the team and commitment to the unit. Hey man, I get it. You can have that commitment though. I'm not committing myself to toxicity. Not gonna happen. I'll go somewhere else, take my talents down to South Beach, as LeBron would say. Listen. Leaders out there, don't forget where you came from. Don't forget who the most important people in the organization are. That's your troops. You can't do anything without them. And I know that we need leaders in the army. I get that. But it has to start at the bottom. It has to start with that young private who's 18 years old, comes from somewhere on the planet, who knows where they come from. Never been away from home has no idea what life is about. It's up to us, especially the non-commissioned officers, to teach those guys what right is like, to teach those young men and women how to be adults and how to be valued members of, of society that, that make our country and our world a better place. All right, so that's my little tidbit of knowledge on ego. Get rid of that bull crap, toxic ego that you have come back down to reality practice some humility be humble all right guys love you top out